Hey, 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 it's that time again. That's another box opening. We have a big boy, one real big boy. Let's just back out, Let's flip this back here. This is a door. And that is how big this bad boy package is. There is our tiny Christmas tree actually, and the package, and a window, and a package. This is a big daddy. So we got Jabba the Hutt here. We're gonna pop this open. We picked this up from Black Friday. It was like, six, whatever the percent is, it, whatever, I think it's usually like 850. We got it for like 600. Uh, yeah, so I cannot turn down that deal. I've been wanting this guy for a while. So let's crack it open, see what's inside. Holy hell, how am I getting this damn thing out of here? Look at this, look at this thing freaking huge okay we have we just flipped this box upside down and just dumped this on the on the floor Whew, i'm out of breath all right well now we got to open this and hoist this on the table damn this thing's huge we got quality control past styrofoam package inside let's cut this bad boy okay we lifted that little lid there and we got a bunch of little pieces here Let's see, what is this? Instructions. Uh, it's Job of the Hut and Throne Deluxe Assembly Instructions. Oh, just some assembly for Salacious Crumb. What pose should we do? They're pretty much the same. <laughs> pose one of sitting or pose two of also sitting. Yeah, okay. Uh, get some of this shit out of here. Okay, so just these like little small pockets have all the pieces. You got all the arms and tongue of Jabba the Hutt here. Um, some of the little accessories. You got the little froggy likes to eat on plate of food. Nice little carrots, beans, some cups here. A little cup accessories. Got to got to get your drink on, you know. And they got salacious crumb here. They give you two different uh, poses. So I went with the one on the right, and here he is. This is pretty cool. He's like, uh, every body part's magnetized. So you just plop whatever you want, and boom. Arms and legs are magnetized. Nice. The body of Job the Hut, it feels like, it's not resin. It feels like it's made out of plaster or something. Like, not rubber, but like a really heavy kind of plaster material. I don't think it's resin. It could be resin. Doesn't smell like it. Resin smells like shit. Oh my god, you guys, this is a workout. So that top layer comes out. He is underneath that top layer, and all of this shit is on the bottom layer. So let's get all this shit assembled. We put all that there. Whew, this is a workout. You guys, this thing is no joke. This is huge. Where the hell am I gonna put this thing? <laughs> yeah, so this is pretty cool. I like this is very well built. Dude, this thing's heavy. This is like rock solid. Very nice details here. I like the little oxide uh, detailing here. These are functional, like little knockers. There. Here's his little food bowl. These little frog boys. Check that out. A little froggy right there. Nice little protected area. This is like solid. Good, good build here. <clears throat> Yeah, very nice. Like I like the grime. It's kind of granite, shitty granite, old granite look. And then on the bottom, back is nothing. It's just plain, plain granite. On the bottom, you got this nice little uh, job of the hut, six scale, and a picture of him. So that's what's there. So now that we unboxed everything, let's put all this shit together and unwrap it all. All right, now that we have it all put together, dude, this thing is fucking sick. Look how badass that is. So all of him, for him too, all of his limbs are magnetized. So his arms are magnetized, his mouth, like if you wanna change the face, just pull out the mouth, you put a new one in there. Eyes are magnetized, if you wanna switch them up, like take that eye out. Here are eye options, let's make him a little Sleepy Joe. Check that out. He's getting a, he's having a stroke. 
So that's pretty cool. And then this is sick over here. We got his little like a uh, bowl. This is actually like a solid piece. You can take that out. Look at the detail on that thing. That's what he eats. I think they're called uh, frogs. I'm just kidding, I don't have no fucking idea what they're called. Salacious Crumbs are chilling over here. I put him there, but in the movie, he like sits here, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's try, uh, let's change a little, uh, some poses here. Oh, some accessories, food and drink. And check this out. This is also magnetized, this little, little froggy. If you want him to be shown eating, you put this frog in here, magnetizes right to his hand. It's amazing. So, put that bad boy back in there. Okay, let's make him uh, smoke a little hookah. Okay, so we're fucking with the hookah thing and this thing is broken. And now that I can see inside the material, that is definitely resin, so. Little 3D printed uh, piece of shit right there. Okay, here's Jabba the Hutt being a little sleepy Joe. Getting a little high on life there. There's the hookah machine, freshly glued. Luckily I have Warhammer shit, so I have gluing hobby stuff in the garage. So there he is, smoking the hookah. Getting a little faded. He is definitely sleepy. Yeah, this hookah thing is a motherfucker. This thing is hella bent right there. And it's just so spindly. I had to like loop it this way to make it uh, be held down on this side. So, I mean, I don't know. Should I display it with the hookah machine? Maybe, it just looks, like the actual machine looks cool. But I also want to show him just eating, eating a little frog. So let's see, let's see what we want to finalize it at. Almost forgot, this is him with the other, the third version of his mouthpiece and eyes. So that is him. His other arm is just this arm resting on his left side. I don't want to mess with taking all this stuff apart just to put that arm in. But anyway, that is how he looks with his other face and eye options. All right, guys, this is the final form. This is my final form. So I think I'm going to display it like this. I just love the look of this hookah machine too much to not use it. So we are displaying it with that. He's got the hookah machine there. Uh, I'll probably, actually, I think I want to change his arm. Ooh, I like that tattoo. Sick. I actually did not know he had a tattoo until I saw this figure. Isn't that crazy? All these years, did not know. Yeah, I'm going to use this, these uh, set of eyes and his tongue sticking out. Slobber all over his mouth. That is tight. Hookah there. I displayed more pillows and the food. Plate of food right there. The drink is spilled and one's still standing. Salacious Crumb is just chilling on the big ass pillow, uh, holding his little pal about to get devoured. So yeah, is this worth it? Um, for 600, hell yeah, this thing is definitely worth it. If you can get this on sale at Sideshow for 600 on Black Friday or a flash sale or whatever the fuck, definitely pick this shit up. Or if you can get it on the Facebook groups for cheap, hell yeah. Oh my God, I saw this for 800 on the Facebook groups and it had um, had a, uh, I can't even talk. It had a Lando guard, and it had, a, a, not slave, but worker, hard worker Leia for 800. That was a fucking steal. I wish I got that, but I slept on it, so missed out on that. But if you can get just this figure for 600, hell yeah. But just know that Sideshow still charges you like 70 bucks to ship. So they can suck a dick. But yeah, love this figure. Can't wait to display it. I have a bib for tuna coming in. And I'm still trying to find a, not slave, but hard worker Leia. Uh, there's a gentle giant uh, statue I'm thinking about getting. But there's also the Mr. Toys one. I'm not sure. The Mr. Toys one's very generous in the breast area. And not very real, like does not look like Carrie Fisher. I don't know, what's your guys' thoughts below? Should I get the Gentle Giant? Should I get the Mr. Toys version? Should I wait until Hot Toys or Sideshow does a hard worker Leia? Let me know in the comments below. Peace.